I'm Caleb Brooks with the HSAA Radio Network. I'm in Montgomery, Alabama. It's All-Star Week down here. So we're at the HSAA All-Star event. I'm joined by Sarah Ashley Barker from Spain Park High School. And, uh, you know, first of all, congratulations on being Thank selected you. as a, a Northern All-Star. And, and how much does it mean to you to be here and to be a part of this event? It, it truly means a lot just because, you know, I when I was in sixth grade, um, just looking up to girls that were at Spain Park, seniors and stuff like that, like watching them, I was like, wow, like, I hope I can be like that one day. And and then just to be able to be here now, and it's flown by like crazy. And then also, I played AAU with more than half of the people on this team, and just to have one last ride with them means so much. Yeah, and, and you know, you bring that up that you, you've already played with a lot of these girls. So right. Does that give you a little bit of confidence going into the game and, and knowing that y'all already kind of have a little right, bit of chemistry? Right, for sure, just because the chemistry that we have and I mean, I can tell you right now, I'm best friends with every single person that I played AAU with, and it's it's just awesome to come out here and play with your best friends. You know, you get to play AAU, which there's great competition in it, but, you know, what's it going to be like to go out there and play against the best competition in the state of Alabama? Right, it's going to be a lot of fun, just because you have so much respect for all the players that are selected for this game, and, and no matter the outcome, it's just, you know, we want to win, but no matter what, we're just really thankful that we get to even be here. You know, everybody knows about your family and, yes, and you know, your dad, and yes, how sir. famous he is. But what's it like to be in a family that's as athletic as your family is with just you got brothers all over right. the place. You know, your dad obviously played mm -hmm. at Alabama. What's it like to um, be in a family like that? That's definitely why I'm the type of the player that I am today, just because when I was little, four or five years old, six, seven, all the way up till probably I was 14 or 13, I was outside playing with my brothers and their friends and they were knocking me to the ground and blocking my shots and all that kind of stuff. So just the aggressiveness part and and some people say I kind of play like a boy a little bit and like I kind of I take that as like a compliment just because I played with my brothers like leading up and I was like on Harrison's like sixth grade team with all the boys and they'd be like, why is a girl out here playing with all like, guys and stuff like that but I mean it's it's truly helped me and do you yeah I mean that's what I was going to ask is do you feel like playing with guys pretty much your whole life has prepared you for where you're at now for sure just because they're bigger stronger faster and I'm not saying girls aren't like that but it, it's the truth they're bigger and all that kind of stuff and it's truly helped me yeah you know what your brother is at Alabama mm -hmm. right now yeah. playing your Georgia commit right, and right. you know, what was it about Georgia that that led you to want to go out of state and, and mm -hmm. go there um you know when I started going into recruitment everything was open I didn't know where I was really going to end up and um just I went to an elite camp uh Georgia elite camp and just the interaction with the coach and you know she told me I was good enough to play um at Georgia and that kind of stuff but she made sure she got me she got to know me as a person and that truly stuck with me the whole recruiting process and and just the coaching staff and I actually know a player that's gonna uh, that's there right now Caitlin Hose and she's told me about how great it is there and that kind of stuff and um it's just when I when I stood foot on that campus there was a different feeling than any other visit and I knew that that gut feeling was that's why I needed to be there and that was home you know, I think one of the things that was very impressive to me was your family seems to be really behind your decision. Right, yeah, They're very was, supportive of it. Right How, when I started getting recruited, it was, this is this is you, this is um, your decision. Um, we're just going to be behind you and support you through everything. So that yeah. truly helped a lot through my decision, oh, too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, anytime you can have your family support behind right, you. Because it's, it's a big decision. It is. I mean, yes, it is to, yes. to make that decision to go somewhere else. And then, when, yeah, and then another thing is, Georgia is so hard to get in like academically yeah. and stuff like that like I get to go and get in for sports and stuff like that's just huge you know what I mean so you know uh, obviously you're gonna be going into your senior year mm -hmm. this next year and, and you know y'all have been just consistently good at Spain Park right. what is, is it, it that's kept y'all being so good throughout all these years? right you know my freshman year I think we really surprised people just because um before the year before they didn't even make it out of area okay. and we had everybody coming back from that team and I think just losing in that state championship my freshman year really pushed everybody and we we're like wow like we can really be this top team in the state and and it's really just how much we work our conditioning coach Chase he makes us work and work it's I mean it's one of the hardest things that we have to do and honestly the conditioning part of that it truly helps you mentally and physically and it's a team bonding type of thing and I really think that's helped and um, just being together as team and stuff like that, but yeah. 
So, you know, w w when you think back to getting pushed around by your brothers mm -hmm. and getting your, your shot blocked, right. did you ever imagine that you would be in the position that you're at now to be, you know, headed to Georgia next year? I did not. Um, my eighth grade year, I actually had two knee surgeries, and I really didn't know how I was going to be able to play after that. I was on crutches for seven months or, or six months, something like that. I didn't walk for six months. And just knowing that I'm here and getting been playing the North South All Star game, like I would have never thought that it, that would have happened. And that's why I'm just thank God for everything. Do you feel like that experience kind of helped humble you a little bit and oh, make you for more sure. appreciative? Just because it made me appreciate the game so much more, and it's like it made me want to get on the court even more. And now just I get to go out and have fun every night. That's what I just think about is just go have fun. Who cares how many points you score? Who cares how many rebounds? Just have fun with the game. So heading into your senior year at Spain Park, what is the expectation for your team? What's the goal for you guys next year? Definitely to win a state championship. Um, last year we were all disappointed with how that ended, um, and I truly think that's going to help us get to that point to try and win a state championship this year because it's going to push us. We've been in the summer working really hard and that kind of stuff, but we're going to be very young, but I truly think that we have a chance to win it. How much does it help being able to look over and know that Hoover won it last year and help with the motivation? Definitely. Just because uh, Hoover won it my freshman year, we won it my sophomore year, then Hoover won it my 11th grade year, and hopefully we can win it this year. And Hoover's our rival, so obviously we want to take that yeah. away from them and not let them get a two-peat, but, you know. Well, I really appreciate you taking the yes, time sir. to join me. Good luck thank tonight you. in the game. Good luck heading into your senior year. Yes, sir. And, uh, thank you, know, we you so much. We look forward to seeing you continue your career at Georgia. Yes, sir. Thank you.